Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. This is the trailer for the game. And this almost gives us more information than all of the cutscenes in the actual game. And yeah, that was my high-pitched angry voice. And it got real weird. Everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. So today's episode is actually going to be a little bit different than the previous episodes of Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. Actually, what we're going to be doing is going back to some of the cutscenes from the game because I'm pretty sure that I missed something and it seems really important. I've seen screenshots of what I'm alluding to and um, yeah, I don't really know how I missed what anyways we're gonna be going through all of the cutscenes in the game so let's do this all right so this is the opening cutscene we've seen this many many times one of the things that's most notable about all of the cutscenes in hello neighbor hide and seek is that you never actually see the mom's face you never see her face you know that she's there you know she exists you hear her and all that fun stuff but you never actually see her however i have seen that there is footage out there with like her whole face so that's really what i'm looking for that's the main thing that i'm looking for but i love this intro everybody's happy they've moved into their new house and all that fun stuff and of course they're gonna play games and this is where it takes you into the savari land where you hunt down stuffed animals now wait a second what is this i don't think i've seen this Okay, how did I miss this? What? What's happening? Oh, you know what this is? Okay, I got it. This, these are like um, his little hints. So I guess there's a cutscene in every single level that uh, points you to where you're supposed to go. Like what you're supposed to do. Gives you a little little hint of, of what's supposed to happen next. And I think after that cutscene, it'll have like an arrow pointing to wherever you're supposed to go next. So I didn't see that on the first level because I am just so good at the game, you know? I mean, <laughs> I'm a professional hello neighbor hide and seeker. We're going to the Olympics. Here we come. Okay, so that takes us to the very end of act one. And there you go again. There's mom, no face, just, from the neck down, that's all you get to see. It's very frustrating. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. I mean, it. we've seen her face before. Like, we've seen her in that picture that was in the Hello Neighbor. Like, why? what's the big secret? What's the deal? I don't get it. So now, of course, the kids are playing cops and robbers. This brings us to act number two. And uh, it's always fun, you know. I mean, this was this was actually cool because um, the first time we saw this was in the mobile version of the game, where they like did a beta test and they released the second act, which was kind of surprising and actually pretty cool. So we got a little sneak preview of Act Number Two. Oh, oh, Th see, okay, this I didn't see this either because once again, professional Hello Neighbors hide and seeker Olympics. 2034. I don't even know if that's an Olympic year, but that's where we're going, where we're heading. By the way, this video that we're watching, this is from Video Game News. They basically took all of the cutscenes and they just put them all together. Very convenient. I will have a link in the description down below so you can check out this video. I'm sure you've already seen it. You've probably already seen it. It has like a million views. So anyways, we're we're just, we're gonna use it to go through everything. <laughs> I wanna make sure that I, that whatever I miss is supposed to be in here. So obviously the end of act two, right? Parents are gone. Where's mom and dad? Don't know. Gonna, gonna give them a phone call. I think this is the beginning of act three. So the first time we saw this cutscene was the first time that we played the full version of Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. And uh, it just, it gets sadder and sadder from this point on. So of course they're gonna play uh, firefighters and, and he's gonna light himself on fire. No, don't do that, Aaron. Don't do that. Just pretend catch yourself on fire. So here we are in, in Burning City. Now I did see this and this was the first kind of like hint cutscene that we saw right because uh because i couldn't figure out how to get through this level Th this level probably my least favorite from from the game it was just it was weird 
It, the, the way that things were laid out just didn't quite make sense. It wasn't very intuitive. Wasn't my favorite level. I liked the look of it. I liked kind of the way it all worked and everything, but just the actual puzzles themselves wasn't a big fan. So here we are. Uh, whoa. Did I I must have missed that. So th they were obviously they were they were playing, but this is where dad comes home and he's got mom's purse. And it's just so sad. Why are we reliving this? No. We must do it to understand more deeply. We need to connect with the neighbor. We need to understand the psyche of his mind. What caused him to go mad? Well, I mean, a lot of things, honestly. I mean, you really have to read between the lines with, with a lot of the story elements of this game. But if you piece everything together, it's pretty obvious what happened, right? Mom, dad, got in a car accident. Because I, I, that's based on, like, the original Hello Neighbor. We see that whole scene. If you guys don't remember, there is, like, a dream sequence in the first act of Hello Neighbor when you get caught by the neighbor and you're walking down the hallway and you can kind of see, like, the neighbor is like, come on, let's go, we're having a great time, let's go for a trip. And so he jumps into the car, obviously, like, with his wife, although she's not really shown in the game. And then you walk down that hallway a little bit further and you look over and you hear a big crash boom and you see the neighbor crying next to a crashed car. So that's where we get this whole idea that, you know, mom died in a car accident and the neighbor was driving, which is really something else. Actually, I, we got to rewind here a little bit. L listen, just so Aaron's mad and something just broke. I don't know if that was Aaron, like, breaking a window or something. Are we going to go in there and find... See, the window's not broken. So what if that was Dad? What if that was the Hello Neighbor uh, downstairs, like, breaking glass or... I don't know. I mean, at this point in the story, Dad has just kind of given up. Like, it's so sad. He's he's just, he's a broken man, a broken soul, but he's still got his kids. He's got to take care of his kids, but he's just, he's so sad for losing his wife. It's just, man, what a, what a bummer. And then Aaron, of course, starts being a big jerk. He's just, he's a bully, man. He's such a mean head. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, what is this? Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's the cutscene you get when you call for the crow to come and get you. I didn't use that ever in the fourth level, so I never really saw that. But here we go. We're leading up to the final cutscene of the game, which is heart-wrenching, but I'm, I'm hoping that there's, like, something here, because cause I'm, I'm telling you guys, we've definitely missed something, and I... I haven't quite seen it yet. There was some cutscenes that I that I definitely missed while playing through the game, like those those hint ones. But where's the the one? The one that I'm looking for. There is one. I don't I don't see it yet. Gosh. Also, where's their actual food? I've noticed that they sit down for a lot of meals, but they never actually eat anything. What's wrong with these people? I don't understand them. Okay. Act 5. This is where I'm hoping that things change up a little bit. Actually, you know what's interesting? So you see how Aaron's hiding under the blanket like that? There is an object in the original Hello Neighbor. And I honestly just thought about this. And it looks just like this. It's a blanket on the top bunk of a bunk bed. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And if you look at the right angle of that blanket, you see eyes. Like, like glowing eyes peeking out of... The opening in the blanket? Is this like alluding to to Aaron or is, is Aaron in the house? I don't know. We, d we still don't know what happened to Aaron. Hi, gosh. Okay, well anyways, enough of that. So, you know, this, he's gonna take the doll and we all know where this is heading. Spoilers, by the way. Spoiler alert. I should have done that at the beginning of the video, but hopefully you guys have already seen all this stuff. You know what we're what we're getting into. I, I think you do. Oh man, why am I doing this? I don't, I don't like this. Yep, yep, this is the very beginning of Act 5 and then you make your way up to the top of the house. Oh, that's what happens when you call the crow. I didn't do that either. Whoa, that's interesting too. Okay, so there's like two different 
crow picking up Maya animations. There's one when she's inside. You can kind of see she's like kneeling down. She's just sad. Crow picks her up. Here, let's watch it again because it was kind of cool, honestly. Here we go. So she's just, yeah, she's kneeled down. The crow picks her up. But then there's a different one for when she's outside and it looks like she's falling. And the crow like literally caught her while she was falling. Okay, so obviously I was, I was procrastinating because I know what's coming next. I, I know this part. Oh, I know it all too well. And I, I don't want it. Oh, gosh. Oh. And then here, here it comes. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Why? Every time. It's like the beginning of a Disney movie. It's just some kind of tragedy always has to happen. <laughs> so sad really is I, I laugh because otherwise I'll cry so yeah ending cutscene um, there's still like a minute left on this video I'm really hoping that there's something new in here that we did not see I'm not seeing it though it's still not happening we're still falling they really really drive it home with yes we know Maya is falling it's we get it it's very slow motion thank you Fade to black, please save me. And that's it. That th this is the ending cutscene, and the neighbor is is digging what I assume is a grave for his daughter. Where are the police in all of this? I, like, what is? Did he? Okay, I didn't even think about this initially the the first time we watched this because I was so like flabbergasted by what had just happened, but. The neighbor is is burying, presumably, his daughter in his backyard. That's a little weird. That's just, like, actually a lot weird. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You can also see the shoe in the foreground right there. There's, there's Maya's shoe. Blah. I think that's it. I think that is the end of all the cutscenes for Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek that are actually in the game. Huh. Okay, guys, so I did a little research and I have discovered that the cutscene that I was looking for is not in the actual game, which begs the question, why? Now you might be wondering why I'm so upset. Let's just, let's watch this cutscene together and, and maybe you'll understand why I feel so cheated by, and, and keep in mind, this is the trailer for the game. And this almost gives us more information than all of the cutscenes in the actual game. And yeah, that was my high-pitched angry voice. And it got real weird. Real fast. I'm sorry. I'm rolling up my sleeves for this one. <laughs> oh boy. Sleeves are rolled up. Let's do this. Yeah. Right there. Right off the bat. Like five seconds into the cutscene. There's mom. There's her face. What a delightful family. Actually, you're looking at this. This is the picture. This is the picture that you find in Hello Neighbor, which is actually pretty awesome. I That makes me really happy. Now, we're going to watch a lot of things happen. They're moving into their house. Life is good. Life is great. Also, really like the jam playing in the background. It's like a remixed Hello Neighbor song. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, life and, and there's mom, you know, mom being a great mom, being a great wife. She seems like a wonderful lady, by the way, like the neighbor. He scored. He scored. He found himself a wonderful, wonderful lady to spend his life with. Did you see that? That was adorable. Hold on. Hold on. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She, she's she's doting on him. She, she loves him so much and and he loves her. Oh, my gosh. This is heartbreaking, actually, knowing what's going to happen. There was a yeah, I love this. Look at her in the background. Oh, they're adorable. They are adorable. I think she comes up to, oh yeah, she's, she totally came up to him. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can rewind this. We're gonna do frame by frame. Let's see, here we go, here we go. Look at her, saying hi. She's gonna give, yeah, you get a little, little, little tap on the head. There you go, that's all you get though, neighbor. That's all you're gonna get. All right, and now, buh, whoa. By the way, this is like a really well done trailer, but again, like car accident, uh-huh. And obviously wife right there, there you see her shoe, 
flying through the air. I'm pretty sure they are upside down at this point in time. Yeah. Okay. And in the hospital. Gosh. Oh, and the, the hospital bed rolls by and now he's back in the house being a very, very sad man. There's Maya in the background. Look at all the information that we're getting from this trailer that is a minute and 25 seconds long. What the heck? Where was all of this info in the actual game? This trailer is kind of awesome, but also very sad. And, and it, so it's like it's like the birth of the neighbor. He grabs his shovel, his weapon, if you will. And then the ice cream truck rolls by. I don't know if that means anything. This trailer is super cool and also like really sad. And also, where was all this stuff in the final game? I just find it really ironic that the game, which was a complete game that we played through from beginning to end, had cutscenes in it that you kind of had to like interpret, right? You had to kind of like figure out, read between the lines. But then they release a trailer, and by the way, this trailer came out the day that the game came out. I just completely missed it because I was so caught up in the game. I never saw this. This trailer gives you more story elements than all of those cutscenes that we just watched from the actual game. And I'm, I mean, we get to see the mom. We get to see her being a mom, being a wife, being a wonderful, wonderful woman that assuming that he was gonna grow old with and uh, didn't get that opportunity. And man, that's sad. That it just, it, it just, it makes the characters come to life in a way that they didn't exactly do in the, in the game. Does that make sense? It kind of bums me out. I mean, I've always felt for the neighbor, especially as we learned more and more about him and about his past, but he's still kind of like a blank, just slate, right? Like this is kind of the look that you get in the Hello Neighbor games. But in this trailer, you get so many different emotions from the neighbor. I mean, like, look at how happy he is. That's a dude who's living the dream. He's having a great life. Look, he's moving. He loves his kids. He loves his wife. He loves his life. He's making phone calls like a like a good dad should. It, I mean, it's just it, we get to run the whole gambit of, of his emotions and we go from happy to super depressed to kind of like psychopath, which is fascinating. And, uh, and they do all that in a minute and 25 seconds, which never happens in the actual games. So you can probably understand my, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say it's anger. It's, it's really not. Maybe my frustration, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Probably doesn't even describe it that well either because honestly, I really liked Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. I thought it was a very fun game and I, I thought the cutscenes were good. Like they, they told a, a good story. They just, they didn't tell it good enough, I guess. I know it's never good enough, right? So yeah, this, was the cutscene that I didn't see. And it technically wasn't really a cutscene, it was actually a trailer. A really, really awesome trailer. <laughs> but at least we got to go back and, and look at some of the uh, cutscenes that were in the actual game that uh, we did miss. So that was pretty cool. But man, I just, I wish that the mom was featured a little bit more in the game. Get a sense for, for what kind of role she played in the house. She's obviously a great mother and a great wife. I think I've said that enough. But there you have it, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different than our normal episodes, but hopefully you still got a kick out of re-exploring the story of the neighbor by going back to cutscenes and trailers that we've never seen before. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, crazy neighbor. It was fun to see you again.